Hello, beloved, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Journey, Journey Divine, coming to you on this beautiful Monday. Beautiful Monday. But no matter what day of the week, what time of the day, what year or what season, you click on this video, there's a message that was meant for you. Timeless readings. Timeless readings. There's something you need to know. Something that Spirit is trying to show you. Answers to questions you may be having. Wisdom. Insights to situations you may be facing. Hear the angels speak and the ancestors reign. Yes? Known and unknown, it doesn't matter. We all have ancestral presence in our lives. Some of us choose to offer and venerate and keep them close. Raised in that culture, some do not unknowingly not raised in that culture, but yet they are still with you every step of the way, every day. You may want to get to know them. You may want to take time out to speak to them. To invite them into your life. To assist you in change. In manifestation. Directing you, guiding you to a better you, a better life, better friends, better family, better experiences, better finances, whatever what say you is what they can do. If you don't have an altar set up in your home. Give offerings to a tree, to the ocean. Set out a white candle, a cup of fresh water, a plate of food, light of incense, burn some money, ancestor money for those who don't want to burn. That real doll bill. <laughs> you can find ancestor money on Amazon or Etsy. If you're unsure, hit me an email. I can guide you in setting up an altar to call in your ancestors, to call in your spirit guides, to call in the angelic support you need to change your life. One day at a time. Slow and steady wins the race. Take your time. You are changing. You are transforming. You are healing. You've made a commitment to be different, to be better, to walk in a purpose. To serve God in the highest. To be seen, to be heard. To shine like the star you are. For some. <laughs> to break free from the conditions of earth. Man-made conditions. To not conform. To not need to belong. To be uniquely and authentically you. Accepting yourself, loving yourself, giving to yourself, pampering yourself. Finding that strength, that power. To be a boss, to be a leader, an entrepreneur. An example for your children. Example for your family to break those generational curses, 
that have held your bloodline hostage for generations, living in poverty, becoming the first millionaire in your family in this lifetime to relocate, to elevate, to inspire others with your story of survival. You've gone through a lot, beloved. A lot. But you made it. And you're here. And you're still pushing through. Unshakable faith. Dedication to God. A single parent. Holding it all down. With little to no support. But you do it well. Because the support you need. Comes from. You don't need to beg Peter. To beg Paul. You know that even when you don't have. At the moment. It's coming. And even more than you expected. More than you asked for. Know that the fullness of the world, the fullness of God's earth, is available to you. Because you are a child of the divine. And God wants, that's too many. <laughs> God wants what's best for you. God, goddess, mother, father. Knight of Wands. You can have your heart's desire and everything you want and wish for. It lays right at your feet. All you have to do is go for it. Manifest it. Believe to receive. It's coming towards you. Everything you prayed for. Those nights you cried. Those tears you shed. Those towers that burned, those people that walked away, those connections that ended, those seeds you sowed, those businesses you started, those creations you are manifesting at the moment, all coming into fruition, will all be your reality. It's a cup divine divine assistance in matters of the heart. New love. New connections. New relationships. Supportive. Loyal. Equally yoked. Giving. Caring. Kind. All divinely guided. Maybe you've ended a relationship Maybe you've ended a relationship, a long-term relationship, a divorce, a death, some sort of separation that is no more, about to be divinely replaced with everything you could imagine, fulfilling, healing. Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles together in a reading back to back. Prosperity, growth, abundance, wealth, gifts from the divine, spiritual inheritance, your birthright, coming in, overflow. Do you see that cup? Overflow. Sent by heaven. Held in the hands of your ancestors, your angels, to be delivered. It will not miss you. It's meant only for you. It will arrive and cling to you and never leave. It will sustain you, maintain you. Financial freedom. 
come on now. Two of Cups. A new love. A new support. A new partner. Queen of Wands. Took back your control. Took back your power. Standing in your power. Manifest. She is unstoppable. She knows what she wants and she goes get it. I see it. I want it. I get it. It's mine. You are a powerful being now that you've awakened. You've taken back control of your life, independent, no longer codependent or trauma bonding. You speak your truth. You are confident, courageous, strong, fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be heavy in your chart, fire energy. You have the Ten of Swords, but it's in reverse, baby. Finally in reverse. You're no longer feeling defeated or broken or lacking energy, lacking willpower. You are now standing in a place of receiving. And not lacking. You don't need to be validated. You don't need to be accepted. You don't need to be invited. You don't need to be included. You don't need confirmation. You know exactly who you are. You let those experiences that were painful, hurtful, debilitating even. You turned your pain into power. Because you were the magician. You understood that the power to transform your life and your perception was within you the whole time. The whole time it was within you. You fell for a moment, you lay down for a moment, you were wounded, you cried. You went within solitude, hermit mode. But like Jesus in the tomb, you rose again. You rose again. Spirit came in and lifted you up and said, nah, nah, you got much to do. I have a big assignment for you. Get up. You're stronger than this. Don't let them see you sweat. This is what they want. To think they defeated you. With this broken heart. Putting third party situations. Mistreated. Unappreciated. But you walked on through it. You pushed through it. Oh well. Okay. Life goes on. It's 8 billion people in the world. I can find more love. In other places. With other people. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Nine of Pentacles. Coming in, coming at you, the change you need, the change you've been looking for. It may have felt slow coming. You haven't been waiting a long time sowing those seeds. And it seemed like it would never come. It would never manifest. You would never live your dreams. But you were patient. You had unshakable faith. 
you knew, you believed. You continue to pray. You continue to journal and meditate. You continue to light those candles and speak your truth. You believed in yourself. You believed in the higher power that created you. You knew that life had to be more than just this. And I have so much more to live. My best life is yet to come. Some get it in the second half and not in the first. You struggle through pain and adversity only to emerge victorious in the next half of your life. The best is coming. You will this. You waited for it. You manifested. And divine timing is about to pour out like manna from the heavens into all of your cups in every area of your life. And you will shine like the star you were meant to be. Aquarius energy. The doer, the achiever. The go-getter, the trendsetter, the lover. They give you the show off their back if they can help you. But don't take them for granted that they are not weak. We have a lot of water. We have a lot of fire. A lot of water, a lot of fire. And some air. We have some earth. We have just about every zodiac sign. The elements of every zodiac sign. On the table. So it's a universal message for everyone listening. This is your message. This is your confirmation, beloved. The balloon is about to burst. Like the piñata. When it bursts, all the goodies fall. Everyone rushes in to get their portion. You won't need to rush in. Because your portion will fall exactly into your cups. Where you stand. It will rain down on you. Exactly where you are. Wow, beloved. Wow. God favors you. God favors you. Amongst the chosen few. An empath. You love hard. Are these the right cards? You love hard. You love long. You believe in family. You believe in commitment. You believe in loyalty. But until now, you haven't been equally yoked. But you're about to be. The right person is coming to fulfill all your needs. It's going to be unbelievable. Unexpected. Like a dream. Like a daydream. You may daydream a lot. <laughs> It's time for you to give. It's time for you to receive everything that you've given. It's time for you to reap what you've sowed. And when all these blessings come in, I'm hearing spirits say, be mindful of fake love. Be mindful of returning love. Family, friends, or otherwise. You'll want to come back and be sorry. Be apologetic. Tell you they missed you. They waited for you. They were praying for you. The whole time. Although they were nowhere to be seen. They didn't call. 
They can check on you or your children. They don't celebrate you when you win. This is meant for you and your family to expand you, to multiply you, to give you a better life, to buy that new home, that new car, to take those trips. I'm here in Hawaii, Australia, New Zealand, Arizona, Mexico. Will you come? Yeah, come on now. That's what I'm talking about. Breakthrough. This is your exodus. You about to walk into a breakthrough, unlike anything you've ever dreamed of, bigger than what you thought. Bigger than what you can see. Come on now. And that car flew out. <laughs> Whoever you are. <laughs> congratulations. I'm proud of you. Your ancestors are proud of you. That you stood the course. You kept running the race. You stayed in the game. Even when it looked like you were losing. What did I say? Devil energy. Capricorn on deck. Devil energy. Now, you could be a Capricorn. It's time for you to be in this energy. I wish them would. Or, like I said, there will be people that will come out of the woodworks. As soon as you elevate and receive all these blessings, be mindful. Do not feel sorry for them because they don't have. Do not feel sorry for them because they need a handout. Do not feel sorry for them because now you have more than enough to give. Give in the right places. Be mindful of addictions, codependency. Trauma bonds, toxic connections. And Spirit says, make sure you save for those rainy days. We have seasons of up, we have seasons of down. Don't get caught up in your ego when you get up there to believe you're going to stay on top all the time. We'd like that, but reality says on this earth, it rains. As much as the sun shines, put some away. Invest some. You need to understand how to invest. You need some education. Read some books. Watch some channels. Get with like minded people who are winning at the financial game. But put away a nest egg that can grow on its own. Invest in something that. Multiplies. Dividends. Dividends. Invest in a... I'm hearing. Invest in a... Make an investment that... You can actually live off the interest. While your money, your original investment stays intact. Passive income. Residual income. I am a stock investor. I have years of experience in financial investments. Book an appointment with me. We can pull some cards. I have a financial investment deck, Oracle deck that I create also on my website. The information is in the box below. 
It can give you insight into where you should put your money. I have the deck. You can always reach out to me for a reading and we can pull your cards for you. And see what Spirit says. Spirit says, try, try, try again. If you made an investment in a business, a startup, something you tried and didn't pay out, and you got distracted, discouraged, Spirit says, reevaluate it and possibly think about starting it up again. It's time to make a decision. Where do you want to live? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to travel to? What investments would you like to make? Make a decision about those people you might want to let go. Maybe it's time to go back to school. To take a class. Learn your practice. Your spiritual gifts. Seek a mentor. Read some books. Focus on things that will elevate you. It's time to take a risk, beloved. It's time to leap. It's time to live on faith. If you want to move, Let's get it going. If you want to get a new job, let's get it going. If you're going to start that business and become independent, let's get it going. It don't take a lot of money to get started. That's an excuse that we all use sometimes because we fear failure. We don't want to put a lot in and it doesn't work out and then we lost out. There's only loss and not trying. You can never know if you'll win if you don't. Try. It's like, I want to win the lotto, but I never play. I'm just hoping one day, you know, I'll open my bank account and the money will be there. Think it, be it, achieve it. Think it, be it, achieve it. Queen of Wands energy. King of Wands energy. Emperor energy. And endure through the dark days. Endure through the challenges. Endure through the startup that takes extra energy before things really get flowing. Endure through the lack mentality and know that more is coming. Endure through the loss that was meant to be taken away. It's time to make a plan. It's time to plan for your future. It's time to decide and plan. Prayer is good, but prayer without action is insanity. Earn it. Vibrate higher. Stay in a high frequency. Stay positive. Stay faithful. Stay believing. Growth is happening within you. And all around you. We saw that. You're about to grow in all your financial endeavors. What did I, what did I say? It's meant for you, beloved. Do not be used. Oh, you're going to win. You're going to win. Victory has your name written all over it. And others are watching. Maybe you have a channel. Maybe they already see you doing something that looks like it's about to explode. Or looks profitable. They can't tell what you're doing, how you're making your money, how you're living. But they're watching every step, every move. 
And when you explode and receive all this wealth, it's going to be seen. Move in silence as much as you can. But you can only have but so much wealth. Word gets around in every community, in every family. Someone will spread the beans. Don't be used. Remember what it taught you, every experience, about everyone. Because you've changed, doesn't mean they have. Change is the action. Don't fall for a pretty word or good conversation. Stand in your power. Stand in your truth. Be unstoppable, unmovable, unshakable. Let them know that you ain't that meek, weak, vulnerable individual anymore. If they want to be near you, they're going to earn it by showing you they've changed, not just by saying they have. Don't look to the past for the future. If it wasn't there, it wasn't there. And it can be no more. Choose you. Choose you and those that show you they love you. That show you they support you. That have been there your day ones. Those who are willing to tell you about you. The honest criticism. That tough love. That willing to disagree. But we got to communicate. Those are your people. If you don't have those. It's time to plan and make room for them to come. Giving and receiving. Equally. Balance the scales out. Please tap the like button. Support your girl in the energy I give. I would really appreciate that as a show of love and support. Subscribe if you're not already. You're going to want to come again. We elevate on this channel. We manifest on this channel. We walk in high frequency of light and love. We honor our ancestors. We build each other up. We fight the enemy collectively. We are not moved. We are not vulnerable. We are not meek and we are not weak. We are God's divine chosen ones. And we support each other. So if you can hit the like button, I would appreciate it. Check out my decks. My oracle deck. All my creations are in my website. They're listed below. Support the channel. If you'd like to donate. No donation too small. All is appreciated. As I am blessed, I bless others. As I receive, I give. That is my purpose. That's why I'm here. To inspire, to influence, to motivate, to support. You can reach me by email if you want to sit and chat. Go through some things, some confirmations, some revelations. The next steps. As within, so without. As above, so below. As the wind of time blows. The wheel of fortune is now turning in your favor. Well done, beloved. Well done. You've made it. You would never know the life you knew before. Everything will be new and possible and wonderful and bright. I celebrate you. I celebrate your perseverance, your strength. I celebrate your willingness to love. Until we meet again on this channel, beloved, enjoy the rest of this beautiful Moon Monday. Share your energy with someone else. Ashe, beloved. Ashe.